Hey everyone, in today's challenge video, we're going to be rushing the Lord of the Fruit Fly. Much thanks to Evan Chu for suggesting this idea in my last video where I'd rushed all the giant crops. I do have more challenge runs planned for the future, it's just a matter of me doing them. But if you have any suggestions on what type of challenge you'd like to see me do, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. But for now, enjoy! For this run, we'll be doing a spring start and we'll be choosing the only character viable for this run, Wickerbottom. The Lord of the Fruit Fly typically only spawns after day 35, but there is a way to make it spawn much sooner, which I'll get to later. My goal is that by day 10, I'll have gathered everything that I needed in order to spawn the Lord Fruit Fly. But first, I'm going to need to gather every carrot I see. Carrots are going to be the key crop that I grow in order to summon the Lord Fruit Fly. I'm also going to be gathering every seed I can get as well. Birds spawn very quickly when it's raining, and because it's spring, there's a boosted chance for seeds to drop. And I'm going to need a lot of seeds. Down this cave entrance, I get a green mushroom forest, which is very fortunate since that means there's a guaranteed bunnyman village. And you know what their houses are made out of? That's right, tons and tons of carrots. I got three stacks of carrots just from hammering down their houses which is more than enough carrots for the run. At the swamp, I'll be aiming for about 22 papyrus since Wickerbottom's book, Horticulture Abridged, will be how I summon the Lord Fruit Fly. I'll also be gathering a ton of blue and green caps for sanity regen since Horticulture is going to drain all my sanity and dealing with Snymer is going to be really annoying. One of the challenges with the spring start is just the absurd amount of rain that makes you sopping wet. Because of my wet inventory, I lose all my sanity while trying to farm these bears for seeds, and when you're fully saturated, your weapon starts to slip out of your hands, which can get really dangerous if you're fighting terror beaks. Fortunately, I only really had to deal with just the nightmare crawlers. I also made sure that all my food items were in my backpack, as items in your backpack won't get wet and thus won't spoil faster. Before I set up base, I'm going to grab a ton of light bulbs so that we can get a wear pig to turn it all into poop, which we need in order to make horticulture. Now it's day 9 and I got my base hole set up. I've got my bird cage, I've got a lightning rod, I've got a pigman here, and with the boards from the bunny hutches I hammered earlier, I've got my farm tiles via the garden digamajigs. As I tilt this field while the wear pig is doing his thing, I'll explain how we'll actually spawn the lord of the fruit fly. You see, whenever a farm crop spoils, the respawn timer of the Lord of the Fruit Fly gets pushed up by half a day. That means on day 11, I would need about 50 crops to spoil in order to spawn the big bug. But you might ask, how am I going to get these crops to rot quickly? I'm not just going to sit there, right? Yeah, that's the thing that happens. When Wicker spams Horty twice, for some reason, the crops become spoiled. I did report it when Reap What You Sow came out, but Clay never fixed it, and given how they treat the bug tracker, I don't think it ever will either. But that's great for me, since so that's what makes this run possible. So now, I just plant the 10 crops that Horticulture can grow, rot them, and repeat till I'm sure that the Lord of the Fruit Fly is ready to spawn. But uh, this is also where I messed up. You see, the Lord of the Fruit Fly spawns if there's more than 15 crop tiles in a 1.5 tile range. For 3 in game days, I had it in my head that it was only 10 crops. Here's another thing I didn't know until recently. If you water and talk to your crop seeds, and it has all the other bonuses that it needs, you can actually read horticulture, and your crops will grow up to give you both the crop and two seeds back. I think everyone but me knew this, but it's great that I learned this since that means that I didn't have to scramble to get more carrots since I literally used just about every carrot that I gathered. It's kind of amazing since I had three stacks of carrots. After many nightmares, I did eventually learn my lesson and I just planted two tiles worth of carrots and finally the Lord of the Fruit Fly spawned. 
Unfortunately, I use all my sanity food in the process, and I've got a slippery hand bat. I'll have Mr. Pigman here to strike the big bug while I get myself situated a little better. And pretty shortly after, the lore of the fruit fly finally goes down on day 15. As our reward, we get the friendly fruit fly, and I get to do what I always do, and those who've watched my streams already know what I'm going to do, murder the innocent animal. And there we go, the run is completed. This time around, I used my voice to make the video, since I really wasn't happy with how the last gameplay video turned out. Using subtitles to try and communicate gameplay and emotions is kind of difficult for me to do, at least compared to a guide. So I figured that this video was a good opportunity to do a voiceover, since I really would like to do more fun and silly challenge runs like today. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as I'd really appreciate the feedback. Till next time.